Hey guys. Um, so as you can see, I'm at camp in Flagstaff. I got a new rug the other day, so now I have a patio. It's really nice, especially here because the wind, even just blowing it, blows dust everywhere. So it's really super. Um, the solar is in the shade right now, but it gets shade during the day, so it's usually charged up by now and it's fine. Uh, I know I haven't put anything up in a couple of days, so I figured I'd just come out here and show you guys what camp looks like here in Flagstaff. It's really nice. I'm trying to just take a breather, and it's beautiful here. There's tons of trees everywhere. There's even wolves. <laughs> yeah, Tina and I, like, we won't go outside at night now because there's wolves. They were right at camp the other night, and they went out for, like, five minutes it was scary really scary but yeah like it's too bad there's a burn ban too because i have this great fireplace <laughs> and i can't use it <laughs> go figure right so yeah um let's see i'm still trying to figure out how to use this tripod i have not used it yet until now oh here we go okay so i'm gonna pan around and show you guys what it looks like here. That's our other friend's camp. I think I need to loosen that a little more. There we go. I don't know why it's making that noise. But yeah, that's Tina's new road trek. And then this person showed up last night. There's all these pretty woods. And I'm gonna stand on this side. <laughs> and then my camp. I decided to use the uh, new tripod that I got inside of the gimbal because I'm just gonna be pretty much doing this. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little look see at camp and I'm gonna take a couple pictures and include them. And I'll let you know, um, Tina and I are going to attempt to fix my bike tomorrow. Hang on, I'll show you. I don't know if you can hear me okay, because I put a piece of tape over it this time without the cotton ball. And I did a test, so it seemed to work. But yeah, um, I just, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I got this for free um, from somebody that was camped next to us at Fountain Youth. And I haven't been able to use it yet because the tire's flat. So I got a new tube for it at Walmart. Flat as a pancake. And I've never done it before, and Tina's never done it before, but we're gonna try and fix that tomorrow. So hopefully it'll go well. <laughs> it should be an interesting video um, when I post it. Not sure if it'll go up tomorrow or not, but yeah, we're gonna attempt to fix that. We watched a couple of YouTube videos, and hopefully we can do it. <laughs> I just wasn't really feeling up to doing anything today. <laughs> Not feeling the greatest today. Woke up with a killer headache and yeah, so this is a another project here. This was in the cab over bunk. And I'm gonna try and figure out a way to secure it to my bumper so that I can use it for the outside storage stuff and that way I don't have to have it inside the vehicle while I'm traveling. And I even got to put up my uh my hammock. See? Aren't trees great? <laughs> so I've pretty much been lounging in that all day. Um, I just thought I'd make a quick video and show y'all camp and... Oh, and there's... I, I'm gonna include the clips that I got of the hummingbirds. I'll show you that too. Hang on. I put it out when I first got here because I... Oh, there they are now. There's two really vocal hummingbirds. You can hear them. I hope you can hear them at least. Maybe I'll enhance the audio. But yeah, they're really cute, really pretty. And they are I've never heard hummingbirds so vocal before. They're adorable and they chase each other around all day and fight over the, <laughs> the feeder. But it was full when I, when I got here and now it's half empty. So I think I saw a third one too, but I can't quite be sure about that. So don't quote me on that one. But yeah, they're really adorable, and I can watch them from inside where my table is, so. 
yeah, they're not going to, usually when I get near the bird feeder, they <laughs> come around going, what are you doing? Don't take it away. But they're being very scarce right now. Maybe they're camera shy. I don't know. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to stop this here and include the clips I told you about. And you guys enjoy. Thanks for being patient. And I'll post the video of Tina and I attempting to change that bike tire by ourselves. Wish us luck. Yeah. Oh. Aren't they sweet? Hear them? They do that non stop. Aren't they adorable? Oh, I almost didn't catch him. Oh, he just flew by my window. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, it's good. It's okay. Um, it's really nice in the early morning afternoon. Not that I see much of that, but <laughs> at least until like one or two and then it starts getting chilled out and by the time it gets to like 11 or 12 at night, it's really cold. <laughs> and I feel bad for saying that because first uh, I was complaining about the heat and now I'm complaining about the cold. And I've got my 20 degree sleeping bag on there and I just put my satin sheets back on and I, man that helps so much. If y'all don't know, satin sheets reflect your own body heat back to you. So they actually keep you warmer. They may be cold at first getting into them, but once you get into them, they'll stay warm and be nice and warm. Even if you get out to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, like I do several times, they'll still stay warm while you're gone. So when you hop back in, they're nice and warm still. I had my Egyptian cotton on there, which are my summer sheets, <laughs> and it was freaking cold, and it would not warm up. So yeah, I'm really glad that I finally got to changing my sheets so that I could be warmer because it gets freaking cold here at night. <laughs> I've actually had to break out my buddy heater again and use that a couple of nights. There's only been one or two nights since I got here that I haven't used it, 
and that kind of freaks me out. I don't like it, but my furnace doesn't work, so until then, that's all I really got for heat. So I gotta deal with it. Yeah, so I guess that's all I have. Oh, and I, I got some more levelers too, because every time I get to camp, I have to actually, to level it, and put the levelers under and make sure it's level, I have to look at the bubbles. The morons put dude bubbles, but they're on the other side of the RVs. So if you're single like me <laughs> and you have nobody to help you, you have to actually get out of the driver's seat, go around the rig, into the middle of the rig to find the bubble. So I got two more bubbles the other day when Tina and I went to Walmart. Um, same when I got the mat. Um, so I'm going to put one on this side and one on the back. So that way I don't have to get out and go around the entire vehicle to check the dang bubble. Um, also, I got some, uh, the blackout curtains that I wanted so I can take that ugly tile down that looks really cheesy separating the cab. And it'll also help with heating and cooling because you can watch the towel float back and forth from all the drafts coming through the cab. And that's usually the first thing you want to do if you're in hot weather and you just get parked. You're going to want to close that section off as soon as possible because your engine is going to heat up your rig. <laughs> now in the cold, that's a good thing. But in the heat, that's the first thing you want to do. But it's really cold here at night, like I said. So I really wanted to get, not only are they blackout curtains, but they actually help keep heat and cold out or in or whatever you want. So yeah, we're gonna do some handiwork, and Tina's gonna give me a hand, and I'm gonna try and help her whatever I can, and we're even thinking about going to that salvage yard in Phoenix, because she needs a bunch of stuff too, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna end this here, because it's, I don't want it to be too long. I try and keep them as short, and no more than 20 minutes, I swear to you guys I do, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Um, for the new viewers, thank you so much. I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Welcome to the family. And for my old ones, and really old ones, thank you so much for sticking with me all this time. I really appreciate you, and I don't think I say that enough. So, thank you so much for joining, and thank you for being my subs. Love you to death. See you later.